Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. Salamat po. Uh, Commander, give the order of Tikas Pahinga. Thank you. Executive Secretary Salvador Midaldia, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Anu, and the other members of the Cabinet, Senator Bongo, Manila City Mayor Francisco Esco, AEV Chief of Staff General Noel Clement, and the Major Service Commanders, the officers and enlisted personnel and civilian employees of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, invited guests, mga mahal kong kababayan. I am pleased with the efforts of the Presidential Management Staff and the Presidential Security Group, their partners for spearheading the first presidential silent drill competition. It is just fitting that we hold this maiden event as the Armed Forces of the Philippines concludes the National ROTC Summit that showcases the gallantry, bravery, and spirit of voluntarism of young men and women all over the country. Let me break uh, from the prepared speech. Kayo bang mga bata at mga magulang, do not ever, you know, this is our only country. At hanggang ngayon, there are people who are terrorists trying to destroy our way of life. Kayong mga bata, huwag kayong magpadala dyan sa mga idulohiya na barat. Dumaan na kami dyan. I was one of those. Pero later on, I realized that nothing else would be good except to have law and order and one government. Alam mo, they promise anything and everything, including sumasali sa gobyerno and then submitting papers towards a coalition government. Hindi mangyari yan sa buhay ng ating bayan. Hindi talaga ako papayag kailanman. Let me especially commend the winners and participants of the competition, as well as those who joined the summit. Well, of course, PMA won. My congratulations. But I'd like the others, we have, well, more of this in the days to come. Alam mo ganito yan eh. I was inspired when I went to China. Kasi every sundown, Meron silang drill. A drill before the flag is lowered. And people congregate every afternoon to see the drill performed by the different uh, units assigned for that day. I want it done every day. May, man, may magtingin man o wala, do it for the country. I want you to go into a sort of an activity to honor Rizal at ang ating bayan. Do it, and I order it every day. 
uh, it will be spearheaded by the armed forces of the Philippines and those who would like to participate. And uh, I pay well. Uh, it is not because binabayaran ko kayo, but to give you an incentive to perform well before the public. So sabi ko kung may manood, maganda kung wala, just do it because I might just be there in the corner to watch it. And I feel proud of my soldiers and my policemen. And that is why I will never compromise the way of life of the Filipinos. It might not really be the perfect one. Alam mo, mali dito, mali doon. Me, I have my faults plenty, but never, never about money. Ibang bagay siguro. These undertakings highlight the importance of the RTC program in calculating in the hearts of young Filipinos critical values for nation building, such as perseverance, discipline, excellence, leadership, and loyalty, and patriotism. Alam mo, isa akong tamad na tao. I hate to wake up each Saturday to go into a training sa ROTC. But now I realize na importante ito. Meron tayong pumasok na sundalo talaga. At walang ginawa nag-aral 24 oras kung paano pumatay, paano, you know, kill the enemy and all sorts of things. Pero kulang ito sila. In a total outbreak, itong mga to ang doon sa front line. At hindi mo malaman kung maubos ito sa isang bomba lang o isang machine gun. We have to have a reserve force which can be mobilized anytime. Kaya yung mag-lead ng mga ROTC, pati civilians, kayo. If you want to go into real being soldiers, but alam mo, sila nag-aaral ito pagkasundalo professional. Tayo naman, nag-aaral tayo ng pag-AB, abogado, kailangan tayo ng kumuha ng ROTC. Undergo the training kasi alam mo, pagdating ng panahon, alam mo magkasanang armalite, alam mo magdismantol kong masira, at alam mo gumaril. Even the discipline. Alam ko na napipika ka, sigaw-sigawan ka, but take it as part of life, the training. What I like is, pag dumaang kayo ng ROTC, merong kayong respect of authority, echelon, as it goes higher, and discipline. Ngayon yung mga bata na ayaw, hayaan ninyo yan. So there all will always be a time for an accounting in this country. Pag nagkagulo ito, kung hindi na malaman saan sila pumunta, problema nila yan. Problema nila yan. Kayong kukumuha ng ROTC religiously, pero maging doktor ka, engineer, abogado, eh, because hindi naman pwede na pumunta ka ng PMA at tapos ang gusto ng tatay mo para magandang buhay, madoktor ka rin, kagaya ng tatay mo, kagaya ng tatay ko, naging abogado, at ang anak ko si Inday, naging abogada. Ganun yan. So you cannot go to the PMA and become a full-fledged soldier only because then your parents might have other plans for you. Maging doktor ka, kagaya ng tatay mo. In the meantime, since you cannot go to the PMA for that, merong ROTC. I urge you to learn. Baski mo naghawak malaman ng baril, o tokol ay 
an assembly of men to fight for the country. Alam mo, sa buhay natin, the imponderables of life. Hindi natin talaga alam, ano. Pag nawala man ako, well, the next president, uh, he might have some other ideas for you, but ako, I suggest that we pass the ROTC, sumali kayo, requirement yan bago ka makagraduate. Tiisin mo yan, kasi yan talaga ang buhay dapat ng isudyante ng Pilipinas. I hope that in the future, when you look back at the memorable experience, says, during these events, you will never forget to live up and never depart from these values as you pursue endeavors and you would benefit not only for yourselves, but your families and ultimately the entire nation as well. You develop honesty. Kung nandiyan kayo, me in my government, whether the military, the police, for promotion, o yung magpasok ka sa gobyerno, mag-cabinet member ka, I have fired about five whose uh, friendship dates back to 1988 when I first became the mayor of Davao. Tuloy-tuloy kasi ako hanggang presidency na wala akong talo. But these guys were with me and helped me all throughout. Pero ang sinabi ko, pagka magsama tayo sa gobyerno and I have the power to appoint you, huwag mo akong hiyain because ayaw ko talaga ng korupsyon. Yung sa korupsyon ngayon sa gobyerno, and I'm warning again the bureaucracy, dito man ang mga sekretary, madali man nila, I do not want papers to be acted by days. I want it by hours. If you are a director, do not hang on it. Huwag mong upuan niyang kasi pabalik-balikin mo ang tao hanggang bumigay ng pera. Ganon sa gobyerno. Matagal akong mayor. Matagal akong... Marami talaga akong sinipa. Baski dito sa Malacanian. Tanungin mo yung mga gwardiya. Nagbobogbog talaga ako na tao, lalo na yung mga graft and corruption. Sinisipa ko rin. Kaya huwag kayong, ano, kasi kung gusto ninyo, pagkatapos ko, Presidente, magkita tayo ba sa saan lugar, kayong mga po, mga durogista, Kung agrabyado kayo, letche kayo, abangan ninyo ako o sabihin ninyo saan kayo pupuntahan ko kayo. Magsama tayo sa imperno kayong mga... <laughs> Alam mo, makasabihin mo, hindi ako taga Maynila, eh, probinsyano ako, Pichugan. Ah, kamali, dalaga kayo dyan. Ako, naglilinis rin ako ng baril gabi-gabi. Para sa inyo yan. Pag alis ko ng malakan yan, maglinya ka na niya, mag-draw na tayo. At magsama na tayo sa imperno for all time. At doon ko kayo bugbogin ng bugbogin araw-araw sa harap ni Satanas, mga kayo. Eh, galit ako eh. I said, do not destroy my country. Look, kayong mga human rights. I told everybody, wag mo ninyo akong sisihin. I told you, do not destroy my country because I will kill you. Nothing can be more clear than that. Pag sinira mo ang mga anak namin at sabi yung ganun widespread na, Ita mo araw-araw sa TV ninyo, meron talagang druga. 
look at the crawler. Yung tumatakbo dyan sa baba. That's called crawler. Nagkocrawl. Meron talaga araw-araw. Hindi nagtaka na itong mga yung mga human sa bantay kayo. Hindi na lang yung tinignan na my country is being flooded with drugs. And I have to protect the next generation. Trabaho ninyo yan. Kaya yung mga sun magiging sundalo. You have to protect the next generation. Kasi yung next generation, marami ang tama ng droga kayo ng Amerika. Kawawa tayo. Hindi tayo mayaman. Ano natin, ngayon, maganda na. Surprise natin. May pera na tayo. Putulin mo lang yung drop and corruption. Putulin mo yung droga. Putulin mo lahat na sumisira ng Pilipino. Ay, hindi ka makulong yan. Wala kayo. At makulong kayo, hindi isama tayo. Pareho lang naman yan. Eh, ako matanda na. Sila. You do not scare me na pakulong mo ako dyan sa international court. Criminal court. Tang. I will never allow myself to answer itong mga puti. Hoy, loko-loko kayong mga... I will never, never, never answer any question coming from you. It's bullshit to me. I am responsible only to the Filipino. Ang maghusga Filipino. And if you hang me for all what I did, go ahead. It will be my pleasure. But never itong mga puti. Nakikialam ang mga puti. Pamurahin na lang ninyo ako. Hindi pumuputok na ng kakapigil. Hindi lang nila alam ang... You know, what's to them a dead carcass there? Criminal. Ilan ang... And they, hindi nila binilang ang namatay dahil sa droga. Kaya kayong mga human rights, you better behave. Do not look at life on a single lens. Tignan ninyo parang binocular. Not a telescope na isa lang. Mga gago kayo, mga bobo kayo. Tsaka kung kayo, ay nako. Gusto ka magharap tayo ng korte. I want to debate with you about what ails this country. And I'd be happy to answer you and to condemn you. Hindi na matalo. Adre. You know, before I became a mayor, I was a prosecutor. Kaya wag mo, do not, yan ano, magsabihin mas bright ka sa akin. Mas bright ako sa inyong lahat, sa totoo lang. Ah. Kailangan yung mga bisaya, pumapakpak na kayo ng husto. Ngayon lang kayo nagka-presidente ng... I assure you that this administration will remain unrelenting in its mission to realize a comfortable life for all Filipinos. And I firmly believe that the values learned from the ROTC program are vital towards achieving this goal, including those who go to the PMA to be soldiers. Yun lang. Itong ROTC part-time lang ito because they have other worries. To be a doctor, to be a lawyer. But then again, when trouble comes, everybody of us can be heroes. Alam mo yung, it's just the opportunity. Ayaw ko lang magyabang. Itong mga human rights. I have been, you know, in my lifetime as mayor, I see myself my life in front of me. Alam mo, kayo mga taga-dabaw, kayo mga taga-media, dalawang beses ako nagpa-hostage para lang sa kapwa-tao ko. Kaya talagang papatay ako para sa kapwa-tao, para sa Pilipino. Huwag ka talagang magkumpiyansa sa akin. Ayaw kong mapahiya. Kaya ganun ako. 
As we look forward to the next silent drill competition, Gorong next, uh, ilan pa ang binigay natin? 300,000. Guru mga next, ang first mga 10 million, okay na? Uh, ayong tumawa ang mga buang. Oh. Nag-aalala siguro, nag, nagbibiro ka na. It will be uh, higher. Uh, we'll go higher, higher. And those who would want to parade there every afternoon, you'll have coffee money with me. And we can have dinner in... Kaya kung sinong gusto pumunta ng Malacanian, it's open to everybody, to every Filipino. You just inform Bongo, or any of the, itong polis, tapitan lang niya, sabihin niyo, usapin ko si Mayor, gusto kong makita ang Malacanian at magkain doon at uh, yung kwarto niya. Gaano ba kalapad yung kama niya? Kung lalaki ka, wala. Walang overnight. Pero kung... Ah, ayaw kong sabihin. Magalit ang anak. Alam mo, pagka ganito, sanay lang ako sa biro kasi politiko ako. I never graduated from being a mayor. Daladala ko yung pagka mayor ko sa presidency. Kaya kung nagmamura, nagbibiro. But all, all just take it uh, in stride. It's just pabiro lang. Pero kung totoo, kung magpunta ka daw, sabi, can we spend the night here, uh, Mayor? Yes. Pero pagkalalaki at ang ina doon ka sa barracks, ang sundalo, huwag <laughs> gamak. My house is very small. But you are all invited to go to Malacay. It's your palace. All you have to do is to let us know and group na lang kayo. About mga 20, it's time. Then you let us know and you can have a view of the palace. In you yan. Wala akong ano dyan gusto ko. At I, I do not call it palace. I'm just saying it because that's the usage. I call that thing in passing as my office. In public, in official declaration, I said, I am a worker of government and I serve the people and I live simply kasi pera ng tao yan. Kung magkain ka doon, no, yung nakapunta na, alat, marami nung kayo nakapunta. Isang sabaw, isang ulam, isang kanin. Huwag na maghingi ng another cup of rice kay limitado ang pagkain dyan sa walang steak-steak dyan kasi hindi ating pera yan. Eh, simple dinner. I will all accommodate you. Over the next two years, I will end my term. At sa lahat na may sama na loob sa akin, anytime. Baski natulog ako, katukin lang ako ninyo. Duterte, Gumising ka, ka pag-usap tayo. Okay, no problem. Together, let us all work for a safer and more peaceful. Alam niyo, yung kayong mga bata na school, do not allow the criminals to bam, bambosil you. Huwag kang pumayag kayong mga po huwag kayo sa daan because yung mga streets are for the use of the citizens. Pagtindig-tindig ka ng kanto, magpasapasa ka ng ano, tapos human rights Ano ka na? Huwag mong, yan kayo, not, not in the streets, not, 
Kasi huli kayo ng, nasa, sa boss, gano'n. Well, it could be the last ride of your life. Hindi ako nagbibiro. Kasi galit ako sa kriminal. Galit ako sa corruption. Bakit? Because I love you. Kaya na si speech ko noon sa kampanya. I am here because I love the Filipino people. So sinabi ko yan. Yung bago ako sa kampanya, sabi ko. Nabi ko itong droga, mga ano, itong mga kriminal. Do not, huwag ninyong i-oppress. Ayaw ko yung i-oppress. Ayaw ko yung mag-standby dyan sa mga bayan-bayan. Pag, pag may magsumbong sa akin, tatapusin talaga kita. You know, the only way to end the problem is to end you para tapos na. Kung kayong mga kriminal masasaman loob, do not do it. It is dangerous at these times sa panahon ko. Ibang presidente, bahala na. Huwag dito. Ayaw kong mapahiya. Eh. Hambugiro ako. Pag sinabi ko, wag, wag. So, nakalekture naman ako. Lahat na maraming salamat sa participants. I really appreciate your sweat. Uh, next time, uh, we'll have a more prices to come here, right? Ten million, hindi na ninyo maubos yan sa isang gabi. Kung manalo kayo. Uh, look forward to it because uh, alam mo sa totoo lang, hindi ako naghingi ng pera maski kanino. Tanungin. Pag tanong kayo ng negosyante dito, naghingi ako ng pera para sa akin. Pero maghingi ako ng pera para sa iba. Para sa kapwa ko, tao, kaya, kaya ko. I will raise that money, not from the government coffers. I will raise that money kasi marami akong kaibigan na tinanggihan noon nagbigay. Eh sabihin ko, sige, ngayon na. Kasi gusto ng mga drill, malaki ang price nila. Gusto talaga nila 50 million. So it's gonna be 50 million. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, President Duterte. We would like to request our president to please remain seated for the photo opportunity. For Batch 1, we call the school superintendents and commandants of the training institutions. very much. Batch 2, please proceed. Stand by Batch 3, the PMS and PSG Technical Working Group. Please stand by. Thank you very much. Batch 3, please proceed. Once again, thank you very much, Batch 2. Now let us proceed for the Batch 3.
you very much. And then may we invite the President to please stand in front for a trophy with our purchase. Thank you very much, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program. Thank you very much, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for gracing this momentous event. We are very honored with your presence. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte.